My dear friends in Christ, today we celebrate the solemnity of Corpus Christi, the solemnity of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. A separate day, a separate feast day to celebrate the greatest sacrament in our church, the Holy Eucharist, the source and summit of all life in the church. Today we hear from the sixth chapter of John's Gospel. That chapter began with Jesus performing a great miracle, the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. He then crossed the sea, but the crowds followed him. They were still hungry for bread, for earthly bread. Jesus was not earthly bread. They did not understand the sign of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. Jesus was the living bread come down from heaven. Today we hear, if we eat his flesh and drink his blood, we will live forever. And if we do not eat his flesh and drink his blood, we have no life within us. What does it mean to receive the Holy Eucharist? It means to receive the very life of God. For us as Catholics, the Holy Eucharist is not simply a symbol of Jesus' body and blood. It is his real and abiding presence in his body, blood, soul, and divinity. If we eat his flesh and drink his blood, he will abide in us and we will abide in him. He wants to be with us. He who abides in him abides really in love. When we consume the Holy Eucharist, it is not only what we are receiving, but rather we are to be consumed by his immense love for us and transformed into persons who live lives in accordance with the great mystery, live lives of integrity. The eternal word of God took on human flesh, and his flesh is true food, his blood is true drink. And he came down from heaven so that we might go up to heaven, so that we might live with him forever. The most blessed sacrament, which is celebrated in all our churches, the Eucharist, which is celebrated, the Mass, which is celebrated in all our churches throughout the whole world, is a reminder of this lasting presence, this immense love. It is a sacrifice of Calvary, but in an unbloody manner. Over the last nine days, I have been traveling throughout the Diocese of Columbus to celebrate Mass and to engage in Eucharistic processions as part of the three-year Eucharistic revival in the church. I have been moved by the faith of the people from the Latino community to the Latin Mass community to uh, those churches in Zanesville and Lancaster where the faith has been strong for more than 200 years. Our people are rich in faith. And just as St. Paul handed on to us what he himself had learned about how the first Eucharist was celebrated, so too we want to hand on the gift of faith and the gift of the Holy Eucharist for generations to come. Let us ask the Lord then to increase our faith and with the crowds, cry out, give us this bread always.